Hey folks, this is Grease Scotsman. This Miro SDK level authoring tutorial will cover impact properties, but just so it's not overlooked, the Miro SDK now includes the backlog. This is a special repository of content that includes the very grid wall models, textures, and materials that are used throughout the official game. These are now directly in your hands as a series of prefabs. You can now build in the foundational bone lab style straight from the Miro SDK. One of the most important facets of level design is ensuring that the world reacts in an expected manner. Impact properties help achieve a piece of this puzzle by providing visual feedback to the player any time a surface is hit or shot. This means pretty much every solid static surface or rigid body should have an impact properties component with a surface data card that matches or approximates the effect given off when the surface is struck. To help with this task, several tools are provided. First, you can simply add an impact properties component to any rigid body or static collider and manually update the surface data card field as needed, tweaking the physics material of sibling colliders when appropriate. Each surface data card includes a suggested physical material that matches its surface data. If the object's current physical material does not match the suggestion from the surface data card, an option will appear in the Impact Properties Inspector showing the suggestion and a button to apply it. This suggestion will change depending on if the object is static or dynamic. However, surface data cards do not need to match their physical material. Bone Lab, for example, uses the carpet physical material for static blood surfaces. The Surface Painter overlay provides a workflow made for those who prefer visual and spatial tools. The overlay can be enabled from any impact properties component using the Gizmo Options toggle. This will show the surface data visualization where all valid surfaces will be color-coded according to the legend shown in the Surface Data Painter overlay. When the Surface Painter overlay is active, only non-trigger colliders and a special impact properties mesh gizmo component that is used to render the surface visualization will be pickable in the scene. Any valid static collider or rigid body object that is missing an impact properties component will show as a magenta checkerboard pattern. An impact properties component that is missing its surface data card will appear as a cyan checkerboard pattern. When in this mode, the current surface under the mouse will be highlighted and its surface information will be displayed next to the cursor. To update the surface data card, select the objects in the scene or hierarchy, click a surface data card from the list in the overlay. Think of this as setting the color of your brush, and then click Paint Selection. This will update the selected impact properties objects with the chosen surface data card, essentially allowing you to paint surface data information into your level. If a surface is missing its impact properties component, painting it will add the component automatically and then apply the desired surface data. If the Apply Fizz Materials toggle is enabled, and it is by default, then painting also applies the suggested physical material for a surface. If you only want to update the surface data card, uncheck this box. The Impact Properties Utilities window is an alternative tool for updating surface data throughout your level. It gathers all of the impact properties throughout a level into an extensive list. From there, you can perform singular or mass update operations in order to apply surface data and physical materials to colliders. Clicking on an item in the list will select that object in the hierarchy. Any changes made will be highlighted and then must be confirmed with the large Apply Modified Fields button in the upper right, which will apply all current modifications. Each change can also be applied manually using each field's Apply button. For mass applications of a single surface data type, you can select multiple objects in the list and then use the Apply to Entire Selection option of the tool. The Selection as List button allows you to select any number of objects from the hierarchy or scene view and then click the Select as List to display any selected game objects that have impact properties as the active lists 
in the Impact Properties Utilities window. A button in the lower left of the window allows you to enable the Surface Painter and its visual overlay. Similarly, the overlay has a small button that will display the Impact Properties Utils, making it easy to switch between the two tools as needed. To check out all of the new cool Surface Impact effects in-game, you can download the official test chamber released with this patch that truly showcases all of the effects. See you in the void.